Okay, this mod motor is a little newer than the old, old antique. But you notice I've got it set up the same as the other way, the other one with uh, uh, a pot, and it rotates. I think it went too far. No, oh, oh, there it goes. That's probably why this thing failed. Okay, see if we can get to move again. It seems to be moving through part of its uh, rotation okay. See what it does when we get it down where it was before. Seems to be working pretty good right now. But that may be why it uh, gave trouble because it had some problems there. Now, if the other one was the same setup as this, pretty much identical as far as the wiring was concerned. We had two power sources coming in here, 24 volts, and then we had three wires going out to the, uh, the thermostat. Uh, and it actuates just almost exactly the same. Inside it's different. Okay, when we pull this apart, considerably different inside. Okay, this one uses solid state inside, but it actually actuates almost identically to the other one. This part here slides off, and if you look, you can see there's some little uh, contacts right there, and they rub against this. Now, what I want you to see is the outside piece here is a power source. The outside piece is just a piece of copper and the contact rides on there but the inside piece is actually a piece of carbon and it has a specific amount of resistance for every bit that it moves so power comes in through the copper strip and then as the uh, motor rotates it changes the resistance on the carbon strip so this thing is essentially identical to the way the other one worked. We had that one little arm that moved across uh, resistance wires. And in this case, they just used a little piece of a carbon strip that has a specific amount of resistance for each, uh, each inch of uh, length. And that's all they've done. Now the actuating mechanism and the like is uh, electronic. we got a couple of looks like uh, transistors in there yeah yeah uh, and those are probably providing the switching power but other than that that's pretty much the same uh, there's more wires that go into the motor that's all these wires here going down into the motor and we will take that apart and we'll we'll look at what goes on inside there too now just before I leave this thing, you'll note that little uh, uh, carbon strip there. Looks like it's kind of trashed. And that's probably why this thing does not work. Um, it looks like it was catching and releasing and so on like that. So the resistance probably isn't very good on that copper strip. And that's probably what happened to this uh, mod motor.